doing a little work today on the Kawasaki KLR. We've got a 2013 model here. I've already removed the seat. Um, we're putting on a Saddleman gel channel seat. There's a D rings under here that you can use for the luggage. Um, but it's just a lot more comfortable than the, the previous, uh, the stock seat, which is this one right here. So, um, the Saddleman also feels a, quite a bit heavier, I might add, um, but it's definitely worth it. I had a Saddleman gel channel seat on a, Kawas on a Suzuki GSX-R, and even after the first ride, I couldn't have been happier with it. So um, I read on some of the forums and stuff that the seat also kind of helps with the vibration, so that should be good. Um, first thing we did here was pick up this rear fairing. Uh, super easy. This comes off of here. There's two bolts, one in there, one in there. They're both 8 mil. Um, take both of those off the sides and then that reveals this little bracket right here that you'll see just that bracket right there and that's to this hole right here. And once you unbolt that on both sides, the seat just lifts right up. So we're gonna put on the new one here. Uh, the directions that came with it said to you know transfer any mounting brackets or bump stops or anything. Um, doesn't look like there's anything like that on the bottom of the stock seat. So we're just gonna swap this one over. Um, this also looks sturdier than the stock seat. You see the brackets here are plastic, whereas on the new one, they're actually metal. So I'm just gonna Slip the tongue of this in here and away we go. So there it is, sitting in place. We just gotta get it bolted in. Um, this trough here, I get a lot of jokes about that from friends, but my goodness, nothing takes the pressure off your prostate on a 300 mile ride like that trough. So it's well worth it. All right. It's gonna look pretty good, give a nice custom look to it. It's kind of like a micro suede, so it's really comfortable material. Thank you all for watching, have a good day.